Sabatia Banana Farmers is a cooperative society limited that was founded in the year 2019 by banana farmers from Sabatia Sub-County who realized that there is a challenge of banana farming in the county, especially marketing, uh, low variety of bananas, exploitation by brokers, and also uh, high post-harvest losses for the farmers. Some of the products we are doing is uh, we have incubated a traditional, a traditional method of uh, tenderizer that is called munyum kereka, made from banana fibers and banana peels, just to ensure there is no waste from banana. We are also doing banana flour, from uh, cooking bananas. Uh, we peel the bananas, dry them, and uh, uh, mill them to make the banana flour. We're also doing banana crisps from cooking bananas. Uh, we are also doing banana donuts and mandazi, and looking forward to do cakes from bananas. This project was, was founded by farmers, for farmers. So it is benefiting the farmers first directly, because we buy the bananas and the pseudo stem from the farmers. So that is direct market for them. For their products. Uh, secondly, indirectly is when the project continues, whatever sales that are made from here, because members are banana farmers again, whatever sales that are made from here, when there's profit, the dividends again go back to the farmers. That lead transportation of those bananas from where they are to this place is also a source of employment for others who may know who are not farmers, the transporters. So, uh, and also as we expand, we also expect to employ as permanent and piecework. People are going to process uh, process the, the products. So this will benefit the farmers and members from the community directly. But first of all, even before I go to the products, even the building that was done, we ensured that 70% of those who are working here were from the community. The tenderizer is made from uh, the pseudo stem. We get the pseudo stem from the farmers. When, we, when they cut a banana, when they bring the banana, we insist come with the pseudo stem. This helps us also to curb the issues of theft. Because if somebody steals a banana, he cannot bring the pseudo stem to you. So we tell the farmer, as you bring the banana, also we will get the what? The pseudo stem. So when we get the root pseudo stem, it is washed and then it is sliced into small pieces, as we can see here. It is sliced into small pieces and then it is dried in this solar dryer where we are here. Now this takes a roughly around, it's a process that takes two to three days, the drying. When there is good sunlight, two to three days it is dried. Then we take it to the, our combustion chamber that we saw before, and it is burned into ash. Now that ash is what now is put in the decanter. It's called a sedimentation tank. The decanter, that is where we decant now the ash and the liquid. We, we put liquid in, and then we decant the ash and the water to get now the product we want. But since at the decantation stage, it still has some impurities, <coughs> some sediment, ash, now filter. Through the filters, we, we showed you the filtration process. Now to have the final product that is a clear munyu. And now it is bottled and ready for market. The banana flour, we get cooking banana, again from the farmer. It is sliced, it is peeled, washed, and sliced. Now to maintain the color, uh, and to avoid the coloration, we add in, we wash it with ascorbic acid. The ascorbic acid adds vitamin C to the, to the banana, but it also ensures that there's no discoloration of the banana flakes. So that one is washed and dried. After it is dried, we take it to the bay miller and then it is milled and it's ready for packaging. From the banana flour, we can do the donuts, uh, we can do the mandazi, we can do the cakes, those ones, we add in a bit of wheat flour to ensure the gluten, gluten is there to, for, the, for, for, the, for the cake to cook well. The banana flour can also be used for baby food and any other uh, and, and porridge. We would like to move to satisfy the whole country with the, the products we are doing. So we are planning to expand. Uh, we are hoping to buy the adjacent land next to us so that we can also bring in more products. The products we have are few, but we are also looking at adding other products, like now extracting fiber from the banana, from the pseudo stem, so that we can also make uh, materials from it. We are also looking at trying to extract fiber and also make affordable, low cost sanitary parts. Tunasema ndizi ni pesa, but we need to encourage our farmers to get more into agribusiness, get more into value addition of bananas 
because it has always been seen in Vihiga County as a substitute feed. But you're trying to tell farmers this can be a viable uh, cash crop for the farmers. Now that farms are dwindling, sizes of farms are dwindling in Vihiga County, the best thing they can do is encourage our farmers to plant more bananas and get money from what they are doing. That's why we are saying Disney Pesca.